Hey guys, Ice Players here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add effects to your animation. So, for example, I made this little cool animation here. I don't know. Boom. And I want to kind of add a particle, like something to his hand. I don't know, like a lightning bolt or something. Or, or, or something cool, right? So, what you want to do is you want to save this animation as something. Uh, and just quickly, like maybe part. Particle pack, particle pack, you're gonna have like cool particles. Some of these are actual particles, some of these are just images. Or, but here, like for example, this is actual particles. So you got cool little particles. So, for example, I'm like, oh, I like this one because it looks like it's got like a um, little, little shock, and that's what I kind of want. I don't want to have a shock, but I just want the little shock effect. I don't want the other, the little vortex. So I get rid of the vortex. And there you have it. You have a little um, you have a little thingy. Uh, you want to take this effect, oh, you want to delete the other effects too, and you want to grab this effect here. Grab the little particle, right? If it has multiple particles, just drag the multiple other particles in and attach it to where you want it to be. So I want it to be in his hand. So they. What the f. Uh, okay, wrong hand. Uh, I, oh my god. There. Now we have it there. And you're like, oh, it's in his entire arm. I want it to be on his hand. Yeah, uh, grab an attachment. You can delete the other things. Create an attachment, like this, and put the attachment where you want this particle to be, so I want it to be in this hand, and then you make the hit particle, or whatever the particle is, inside of the attachment, and now it's going down here. Or if you want his head to explode, I don't know, you do that. And for now, you want to disable it, if you don't want it to just flashbang you every two seconds, and then you get another particle. Alright, so I've got a little fire animation. I think it looks kind of cool. So, what I want to do is I'm grab the actual fire, or whatever the hell it is, animation. If there's a lot of them, just grab all of them. Shove them right in his hand to the attachment. Boom, we got that done. If it's too big, just edit the thingies. So I want it to be a little small, so... Alright, so I found out that this is the little spark, and I like that spark, so I just want them to have that, okay? So now that you have this, you have the whole spark thing, you want to disable it, just so that it doesn't have it anymore for your sanity. Grab the animation! Do the shit, do the shit, do the shit! Now, you go to here, you go to hit, Enabled. You can change the color if you want, but I don't want to. You can change a lot of things about the 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 particles, but I'm going to just do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and boom. Now I want to, when he puts his arm up, I want the spot. Yeah, I know. There's a typo. To light up. 
And when he puts his arm down, so I'm going to go frame by frame, aggressively turning off. So it goes on, and now you can and I make the little hit effect. So this. But you want it to only happen once, so you want to make it pretty short, like this. If it doesn't work... And there you go, that's your animation. This is extremely powerful because this is so useful for any animation. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, have a good day, and yes, this is my second upload in only one hour. Wow, that is so crazy, how are you this good at everything? I'm just so quick and efficient, I'm just kidding. Uh, subscribe, like, and have a good day, yep.